Okay, so this video is just another one of those ones where I just don't even know what I'm going to be saying. All I know is I, I just got, there's just something on my fucking mind. It's just driving me absolutely nuts. And it's... <sighs> Best way to explain it is a reapy do a A ripping two halves. A fucking schism. A fucking... Something happened. Something happened. And it, and it goes back to this whole nuke thing and then the Halifax explosion. So I've been to two different Halifaxes. I'm pretty fucking sure that I've been to two different Halifaxes. The last time that I went to Halifax, there's just... The, there's just things you see along the way that weren't there. And it's, it's happened before, but it's fine. Go down to Halifax, and whatever it needs to happen, happen. And I, I get to where I need to go, or whatever. Like, and maybe I'm just not thinking straight, or okay, whatever. I'd, memory can't be perfect. I think, okay. And, but then I go into Google Street View, and it's entirely different and going down the streets. I used to go down in the buildings. I remember there's a building here, and, and then it's not there. And there's something here, and it's not there. And okay, things change. That's fine. But then, but like, this wouldn't change. These things wouldn't change. And you look on the map; they're still there. And and the map, the map, the map here just doesn't make sense. The map is driving me crazy. The map, the map, the map, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make any sense. Not only that, I feel like I've been at two fucking, two different, two completely different beaches of where I am here, this basin. It's, I've been in a different one and things were different or something. Me absolutely crazy. I don't know what to do. Like, okay, so I'll start off here at this map. Here, Blomden Provincial Park, in the Linus Basin, we're in Nova Scotia. The first thing to note about this map is this here. The main feature. That Cape Split. And everyone calls this the split. Going to the split, to the split, to the split. But some people, when they say they're going to the split, they're, they're going to the split, the Cape Split. You come out here, and there's a hiking trail. You, you can drive all the way up to here, and then you can hike out. I've done it a couple times. You hike out here to the end of the split, and this here is the rocks. They're all split at the end. And you can you get this view. You're over here in Parsboro. Cars Road is the main thing over here. You got this beautiful view. You see Cape Split. You're over here. You see Cape Split. But then people call this Cape Split too. You're up here. You're on the look off. And you're on Cape Split. But you're also on Blomidon. But this is Blomidon. And okay, people are just dumb. And they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know where they are. And they just say whatever the nearest thing they remember. But but there's there's something to this. So, like, the way this land is here. The... the this, the basin is young. It's way younger than they say it is. And... And... And so the, the story goes that it has to do with this younger, driest thing. In that time period, it's 10,000 years old or something. And... And, and the, the Mi'kmaq were here, and they have the story, and there was a... I can get all into it, but it's like an, it's just such a long story. But anyways, this was, this was plugged off here... And then it overflowed and it flooded into here. 
And then the only thing that's left was these islands. There's like a moose on one, a bear on the other, and then these islands all have those names. And it's just a crazy story, and it's really cool. And but there's something completely off when you come here. And you just look, start looking around. It's it. Th this place is not that old. It is just not that old. The beaches here are not that old. They're and okay, they erode. They erode rapidly. So they always look young, but that's not it. They're just, they're not that old. And you come down to this beach at the, at the fucking campground. And this whole beach is fake. It's fucking fake. Where the fuck is it? Borden Brook. Yeah, you come down here at the end of the road and you come down. You used to just come down through the brook. Is that used to just be how you got, you went down, but then they've been building steps here. But then you get looking around, there's no evidence of steps. They haven't been coming down in steps here forever. The steps is a new thing. And this beach, this whole beach is constructed. The entire thing, and its rocks are sorted. The rocks are fucking sorted. And, oh, the, the rocks... <sighs> you can see it here, you can see them, you can see them. But the rocks... These beaches are this red sand shit. This red fucking sand everywhere. The red, and it's fucking beautiful because it's, it's not sand. It, it's sandstone and it breaks up into this shale and it's beautiful flat fucking gravel and it's so cool. And it's just everywhere here. Every beach, every beach, but then it mixed in. You've got like rocks, like maybe, like right here you can see. Oh look, there's a little brook that comes through here. And then you got maybe some rocks or something that, that, that flow out of the brook and your little collection of rocks. A wall of one kind or whatever. And maybe they're the ones that fall out of the field and you got some rocks. And because like these people, they're farming these fields. And when you're farming a field, you find all the rocks and you just chuck them all in one spot. And of course, you're just going to chuck them over the edge of the bank and whatever. There's, but but the, the rocks here... The rocks here are not, they're, they're the rocks that you get around the other side. Once you're over here, once you're in here, these are all rocky beaches. All these beaches are rocky. They're not sandy, they're not red, they're, it's all rocky, rocky, lava, old lava, it's extremely old. There used to be a, apparently this big, huge mountain and it blew off from a lava thing. And, and so there's all those, that type of rock. And those rocks, those rocks, those rocks, and they all come around. But then it's just this perfect, this perfect, this perfect fucking gradient on this beach. You wouldn't believe it. And they they fade out, and and so the and you have these other splits that would have been going here, and and so they get knocked out, and all the rock from them, whoosh, it fucking rushes in and collects on these beaches. But then it because the splits. It's just, the splits would have been going into here, you can, when you zoom in you can see them, there's one, two, three, four or something of them, and then they're not here, and then, it, but those break off, and they, and the rocks just would have came in, and then they would have stopped, because there's no more rocks from the split. And everything else here, the marsh, there's other, there's other stuff that people have been built, that, that's been built, but uh, nothing makes sense here, nothing makes sense, it's so annoying. But then it does. It, then it does. Then starts shit just starts making sense. This beach, the beach I'm on, my shit. Okay, the beach I'm on. I'm, I'm, I know I was running out of storage on my phone. That stupid fucking thing. The beach. Okay, the beach on my. The beach on my phone. The, <laughs> the beach in front of me. I'm looking at them, and there's something going on here, there's something going on, can't figure it out, whatever, it's just a beach, just a beach, there's, oh man, and then I figured it out, I figured it out, you would bring your boats here and clean them, you would clean off the, the barnacles and shit off your fucking boats, that's what this beach was, is designed, and not only was it just like, oh, this is just like naturally like this, they modified the beach, and they modified, they modified the rivers, and they did all this to make it so that you could come in here with your fucking boat, 
and you could you you would take your boat and you 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 park it on the mud flat. You let the tide go out, and you walk in. And the way that the cliffs here, specifically on this one stretch of fucking beach, they're always eroding, and they're they're always crumbling, and there's always fresh crumbly sandstone. And so you just come in, you grab a fucking bit, and you go and you scrape off your fucking thing, and there's evidence of it absolutely everywhere. Right here in front of me, it was one of the main spots, and there's another spot over here that's just the size of a fucking boat, and there's all these cool wave patterns that happen there, and... <laughs> And that's just, that's just, the, that, that's just, like, how do you know how to get here? How do you know how to get here when you got all of this fucking shit? You've got all of these splits here that are clearly even, okay, maybe they weren't built up to be big fucking huge fucking things. Still, you gotta get around me, you gotta avoid me, there's a secret way in here. This place is crazy. It's fucking crazy. There's a lighthouse. A fucking lighthouse. <sighs> It's a lighthouse. And there's these maps. I keep finding these fucking maps that would tell you how to get over here. And they're made out of fucking rock. They're made out of fucking rock. Here's one of them right fucking here. This fucking map. And it's made out of a rock. And it looks like a fucking whale. Because there's there's a whole other fucking thing with a fucking whale with an eye here that you don't even want to know about. But this... And this here is the shape of fucking the Blomidon fucking thing. And then you flip it over, and it's the shape of fucking here. And they made one for me. They fucking made one for me. Oh, to my fucking floor. My fucking floor. There's this fucking piece broke out of it. And it's one of these stupid fucking maps. And it's fucking blommet in one way, and then you turn it over the other way, and they put a mark right on the fucking mountain. Boom, that's where you are. It's a map home. This fucking shit is... And I keep finding all these... Where did I put that fuck? I don't even know where anything is. And this is just one of them, and there's a bunch of them that I fucking found that keep fucking showing me here. And there's other whales, and there's this whole thing with the whale, and... Oh, man. Sable Island, and then that's a fucking mermaid. You don't even want to know the maps. They're just... And it's not just the maps. It's not... It's just, it's just, it's just everything here. It's just crazy. But these splits... And, and because this is where I'm thinking they would have got the fucking sodium... For to make all of the explosives to blow up Japan with the big fucking explosion because look right fucking here what do we got in here well this is Windsor this is where all the salt all the salt mines here in Windsor near the gypsum mines okay maybe salt I don't know my geology too fucking well but okay the gypsum mines are near the salt wherever the fucking salt one is here I don't know and then yeah 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 they got a bunch of salt and keep getting Windsor salt. You're probably getting it from out here. And then the thing collapsed. I and mean, this is just like... The, 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 if this was a 10,000 year old thing, this beach would not be in this order. It would not be so ordered on this beach. It just wouldn't. Because I, I study the tides here all the fucking time and the rocks move. The rocks move. Every single time you go down to the beach, the rocks have moved to a different spot. <sighs> Like, the big ones, yeah, they stay in the same spot, but everything else moves. But, but they're all perfect down there, and they're just locked right in. Maybe, okay, just some crazy formation. They just happen. There's something, there's something going on. There's just something going on. And then, okay, hold on a fucking second. Okay, whatever. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm just reading the maps too much. I can admit that. I like fucking looking at the map. Okay. That's fine. But have you ever followed a map before? Has anyone ever followed a map before? When you follow a map, someone's trying to tell you how to get somewhere... Okay, yeah, yeah, sometimes they just have no idea what the fuck they're saying, where the fuck they're trying to send you. Okay, but let's try to get to Halifax. 
Okay, let's just try to get to Halifax. Okay, the roads, whatever. Let's just go back in time to fucking 1776 and try to get to fucking Halifax and see how fucking easy it is. Okay, we're sailing along the fucking ocean blue. Where are we coming from? Maybe we're coming down this way. Yeah, let's just say we're coming from the fucking Europe or whatever. And we're from New... Who fucking cares? We're coming down this way. And we're sailing down the coast. Where's Halifax? Let's fucking find Halifax. It's probably covered up by me. We'll put it over here. Where the fuck's Halifax? Where the fuck's Halifax? Oh, well, the one... The... <laughs> Look! You can't navigate this coast. You can't navigate the coast being in close to it. Here. Anywhere. Right? You can't fucking... You don't know where you're going. There's islands everywhere. You don't know where to turn in. Where this and that. You gotta have a great big huge lighthouse somewhere. Just the biggest lighthouse you can to signal where to go, right? And well, where's the big lighthouse? Well, it must be here, right? On this island, this little... That would be the one, right? You put your big lighthouse here. This is how you get to Halifax. Oh, yeah, Devil's Island Lighthouse. They got her... There's some sort of little fucking lighthouse there. Just your standard lighthouse. It is, this is how you get into Halifax, remember? But then once you once you get to this lighthouse, how are you getting you got you can't go in here, you can't go in here, you gotta go in through here. And this is this is and then you get into here and you can't go in here, you gotta go here. There's gotta be shit everywhere to tell you how to get in. Okay, maybe there was and some of it's gone away, whatever. But you, how the hell do you get to hell the the main when you think Nova Scotia, I'm going to show you the picture that you see. If I can find it here. It's this one, right? That's Nova Scotia. That's Peggy's Cove Lighthouse. That's the lighthouse. You get to Halifax, right? You go, you, you find Peggy's Cove, and then what? You go this way. <laughs> you go this way, and you, you avoid this island, this island, this island. You don't go this way. You avoid this island. You go. You avoid all this. You avoid all that. You come back in this way. You avoid all this. You avoid all this, you avoid Terrence Bay, you come back in this bay, you get, <laughs> and you avoid all this stuff, you avoid all this, and then you keep going back, and you come, and it'll, it'll, it'll <laughs> when the land swings in, when the land swings in somewhere along there, you, you'll know you're on the right path, and then you come up, and when you get up to Devil's Island, you know you've gone too far. <laughs> and that's how you get to Halifax. Okay, let's go from the other way. It's the same thing. You come into here. What the hell is this? You can't nav You're not navigating by the fucking coast. You come in and you're fucking. What the fuck is this? You stay away from all this shit. And you're looking for the right lighthouse. Like the big obvious lighthouse, right? Which is Peggy's Cove. And you come over to here. And okay, and then you what? You just go to the right. And you just keep fucking going to hit that. Like, this doesn't make sense. How the hell would you tell someone to get to Halifax? The easiest way is you say you find Peggy's Cove. It's the big fucking lighthouse. It's the only one. We don't keep any of them on out here unless you're fucking too close and you can see it from far away and you gotta be this far away from the shore. You'll still see Peggy's Cove. And then once you hit it, you just keep fucking going. And then you're there. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. It seems like a good place to put your fucking military base. 
how do you find this with a boat? It's unnavigable. Like, where's the lighthouse on the end of this island to tell you to avoid that? Where's the lighthouse on the end of this island to tell you to avoid that? The only way you can navigate this bay is by GPS or if you've been there before. Like a military camp. And okay, what, you go over here and then you go this way to you go too far. Where's the lighthouse? What what are you seeing? What do you I guess you just look at the land and you just know and then you just It just doesn't make sense how you would get in here. Oh, well, you, you got a lighthouse into here. You just avoid all this stuff. Just remember to avoid all this. You just, like... How do you tell someone to get to Halifax? I thought you told them to go to Peggy's Cove. Peggy's Cove is way down here. My, oh, my. Thing about Save Line, we might as well go there because Save Line's fucking cool. This fucking place. Man, this island, it almost looks like you could just move it. You could sail the island if you wanted to. Look at the end of this island. Just beautiful. All these horses, apparently. Oh, the map doesn't make sense. What is all this stuff? They say there's only like a hundred of these horses? Or are these rocks? This one is driving me absolutely nuts. What is going on in Sable Island? They say there's a limited fucking thing and there's only six fucking horses or whatever. But look at all this. Are these horses? Wouldn't it be nice to have a real-time view or... At least some video or some like before or after maybe the I guess if I get Google Earth or I look and I right click the right place or something, but what is all there's so many. And they're just absolutely everywhere on this island. And the story is that there's just this research station over here. Zoom way out because this thing's 50 kilometers long. Fucking thing right here. You know, there's the airport. You just you just hope there's a, <laughs> a flat stretch on the beach somewhere, and you land your plane if you can. And, this, and then there's you can see here that to get on the boats, you just sort of <laughs> on the high tide, you just sail her in and get stuck in the mud. But then they got this research facility. And the story always told us was that there's this fucking pond, Mama Chug Pond, somewhere here, and there's a fence, and then they don't go past the fence, and, and, and they're all over here, and there's this little strip of grass, and then you just start zooming in on the map, here it is, the Mama Chug Pond, and here, right, here's the end of the facility, and here's their fence. And then, that's as far as they come, and then the main mama, and she comes here, and this is the only one they can drink from, or something. And, and, but they don't come in here, like, is this a fiction, or what? I don't know, there's videos and stuff, but there's just, this whole thing just seems weird. I saw scene was way out here. This island is just nuts. Right, we're here at the end. Here they all are. horses. But then the problem they have here is that you can't get here. 
you can only, like, if you're crazy with a plane, and it's hard to find, and they won't say where it is, and... It's like a special breed of horses that they just won't give up on. Because it had all these horses. The people in their boats come trying to get over here to get Halifax. And they they hit this island. And then all their horses got out and they just bred into one thing. Or maybe not. And there's probably different sects and all this other fucking things. But... say we just go kill all the horses that would be so much fun right like those teslas the teslas you can get you they can drive in the water right and and so so this island is simple you don't you don't need to get any boats there to get horses off you don't need to study them anymore you just take your Teslas and you get them in the water. However, this probably isn't even where it is on the map. You know how people, this, these horses are just so sacred and it's so annoying. You don't hear it at the end of it, and then it's like, well, there's like a thousand of them. Why is there? Why is this an issue? What's going on? Anyways, you get your in your fucking Teslas and we swim them across the water, and then you can just drive up on the fucking sand on this beach, this fifty-kilometer-long sandy fucking island. And then we go up and we kill every single fucking horse there is. Get Blow off some fucking steam. I just cannot blow it off any other fucking way. I just need to, I just need to kill something, it seems. <laughs> and there's all these horses here. There's all these horses. And so we just take these Teslas. We drive them up here and we kill all the fucking horses. And we collect all the DNA, and then we bring them back, and we grow them where you can fucking access them. And then, you've got this 50 kilometer fucking island that you can just bring your Teslas out to, and just fucking rip. And just rip this fucking island to fucking shreds, just cruise and cruise and cruise all around this fucking thing. <laughs> it would just be insane. You have a live feed of the whole thing, and just see people ripping and ripping and just killing horses, and oh man, I just can't wait to <laughs> can't wait to be able to afford a Tesla. I'm I'm taking it here. I'm gonna kill some fucking horses. It's gonna be great. <laughs> it's the only thing keep me going here. But, oh, maybe I'll give I can take some horses to save or take some Teslas to save Long Island, and then I'll just kill all the horses and I'll feel better here. <laughs> But seriously, these fucking horses have got to go. It's so annoying hearing about this fucking place. How fucking amazing it is and all this fucking horse shit. And all the fucking horses. we got to save the horses and save the island. And oh, man, we just got to kill them all. But here's the thing with the Teslas. The Teslas, okay, the Teslas, they can drive in the water, right? That's why it's so annoying. I just, like, okay, there's all this other shit that's pissing me off. And then all this and that and... I just want to start a business and do something. Just do something. Get a little money, some fucking how. And no one wants to do it. I'll, I'll give you a million different ways. And they just reject every one. And they give me all the runarounds and every fucking thing you can. You can't do this. You can't do that. You got to get money for this. You got to call them over here. We're not going to help you unless you pay us to do this. Even though we know you don't have money. And it's just fucking horseshit. But just think about this for five seconds, please, somebody. I got this fucking road. It drives right down to the fucking beach. Right on the beach. Right fucking here. This one I'm telling you in my TikTok to come down. That people just keep coming down, camping, pissing everybody off with their camping. And pissing everybody off with their dogs off the leash. And they just won't let it go. And they just have to keep coming down with their dogs off the leash. Sending them over to my place. They won't go around the blind corner because they're not fucking dumb. So they come over with their fucking dogs. And it's just the whole fucking stupid fucking thing. And But if you just listen to me for five seconds, we could, this road goes... It's a fucking road. It goes right to the fucking beach. It drives right on the fucking beach. And people just, they try, they, they bring their, they drive on the fucking beach. They come down and they're fucking, rah, 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 and they fucking come down, rah, 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 and, the, and guess which way they go. Guess which way they go. They come over to my fucking beach. They come over here because, 
Because right here, they put some fucking... Oh, yeah, you don't want to be ruining nature. Let's put some fucking rocks down. So if you got your rant, 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 whatever fucking rant, rant, rant you fucking got, it's you can't get it over on this part of the beach. You got to go out through the mud. And so everyone comes down here, rant, 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 and they just go, they, they go and they all go across the fucking river. <laughs> I mean, you could probably make it through this fucking mud if you're going through the mud in the fucking river. But okay, you gotta come this way, and then they come over, and they rip it up. Almost fucking hit you on the fucking beach, flip you off, and all this fucking bullshit. Going up and ripping up the whole fucking beach. Last time they were here, they got I got video of them. They're so <laughs> fucking dumb. They come over here, ripping up the fucking beach, and they come over here, and they got stuck in the fucking mud. In the fucking river. You don't drive a rant, rant, rant in the mud in the fucking river unless you're retarded. But these fucking people, they keep coming back. They keep coming back, the same fucking ones. And they keep... They, no, this time we'll get stuck, but we're still gonna just rip it up and just piss everybody off. It's so stupid out here. But, but, but... Why can't you just make a track in the fucking mud for them to fucking drive on and just so they're not driving in front of my house and they can just drive in the fucking mud like it, this is like an ancient fucking road you just take some logs and you put them in the fucking mud it's like cost nothing and then you can fucking drive in the fucking mud and go right, right, right out here and not only that People try to bring their boats here and launch them, and they can, of course, because for some reason people think that this parking lot, you just park here, 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 and then you own the fucking thing, and you just camp right here. You don't even use the beach. That's a whole other thing for another fucking day. Just pisses me off. But anyways, and, and then you can't get your boat down, but if you do happen to come down, there has to be someone who doesn't think they own the fucking beach, and they're fucking coming, and you can, you can drive right on the fucking beach. But there's another fucking problem that no one can fucking see, because everyone is just so obsessed with bringing their fucking dogs to this stupid fucking beach and pissing me the fuck off. They don't see. There's a blue clay deposit. There's a fucking blue clay deposit! The rarest clay in the fucking world! That's the most amazing clay in the fucking world! Right fucking here! On the fucking map, there's a blue clay deposit! A blue clay deposit on the fucking beach! The rarest clay in the fucking world! And we got it right fucking here! And they and there's there's fucking markers for like when you should fucking cover it up and shit. Because it's a blue clay. They deposit all their fucking. There's. This is the bank. It's. They. They. The beaches are sorted, and there's like you go to a beach, and every type of rock that matches the fucking bank is on that fucking beach. This place is fucked. But everyone just wants to have a fucking place to go have their dogs off the leash and to fucking park in a parking lot by the beach and pretend to camp. It's so fucking dumb. A blue clay to put right fucking here. And it probably goes everywhere, all through this fucking shit. And they keep these fucking logs exposed because they're dumb and they think it's an old fucking dock. They think there's an old fucking historical dock they're preserving with these keeping these fucking logs exposed. But the logs tell you how much to fill it so that the tide doesn't take away the blue clay deposit. The most rarest fucking clay in the world. I can't. Can someone please come see me? I got so much shit here. There's a rock. There's a rock right fucking here. I got it marked. I got a rock on the fucking road here, marking a trail that I made. It took me forever to do this. I've seen this rock. For literally a fucking decade and have not been able to get over there to explore because fucking idiots come here and think they own this private road to the fucking beach. It's a public beach, but we own it. It's private. You get here first, you own it. But anyways, I was able to get over here. There's this fucking rock that you can drum on. It's got a fucking drum on it. They fucking uh, took acid on the fucking rock and modified it. So that it, it, part of it's fucking loose, but it's not going to fucking break away. And you can go brr, 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 like a fucking horse. Because look what's fucking here. Look what's right over here. This is the fucking horse burn. Over here. 
And over here is where they fucking came down. The fucking mud in the fucking field. Right fucking here in the entrance. It's as hard as concrete. Because they brought the fucking horses down through fucking here. Why? To get to the fucking watering troughs that they carved in the fucking thing. And then they fucking had this fucking thing over here. And this thing on... It's fuck this fucking place. And no one cares. They just want some place where they can go torture people. And torture their fucking animals. And... Oh my god, it just drives me absolutely nuts. And that's just this beach. And this beach, there's there's a pathway, and it lead. It, it's so crazy. It leads you to where you fucking need to sail to fucking get out of here. Because remember, remember what I was saying about this being the fucking split, and this being all fucking plugged off, being absolutely impossible to get in here. This is the secret fucking place because it's a bank. Because every beach is sorted and all this fucking shit. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> and I'm just too, I'm still too fucking crazy for anyone to mention me online, for anyone to link me, to anyone to come see me on my fucking beach. The fucking there's a lighthouse carved into the fucking mountain. You guys don't even understand. The mountain has a thing carved in it that would have been the smoke signal for this is where that you go over to he it's there, it'd be a multi-step thing. You go over to Clam Harbor, and and oh man, it's there's roads on the beach here. There's roads on the fucking beach that I walk every fucking day. They built roads into the fucking beach. You walk that you find you once you realize what the fuck they are, and you start following them. You bring come to the end, and it's the most amazing view in the fucking world you've ever fucking had. And there's they're everywhere on this fucking beach. You walk this fucking road, and you, and you come to the end, and holy shit, what the fuck is this? You walk the road, and you're down in the fucking river. And you're, but there's still a fucking road that you can follow. And you're going, what the fuck is this? And they've got shit deposited there. There's cool old fucking antiques. And little things you won't, I can't even explain. <laughs> there's this fucking special type of fucking slime. Fucking shit. This slime that's like... It's glittery green fucking slime, and it's fucking amazing. But you gotta follow the road, and and you, and the thing is, you follow the fucking road, and you go. And I was over here, and I in the fucking river. I follow the road into the fucking river, and I find this cool fucking slime. I find these older fucking antiques. Fucking to take a couple for myself. Leave the ones where it's like, yeah, I'm not fucking taking those, but these ones I can obviously fucking take. And then and fucking ah. There's this fucking slime, and it's it's glittery and green, and and it, it sticks in the mud, and then you can like flip it over, and, and and you can draw stuff in it because you can flip it over, and when you flip it, it sticks, and, and it sticks to the mud, and now and now you've got the green and the brown, and you've got two fucking colors, and and so and they made a fucking drawing, and ah, it's just so crazy, and and then I got lost. I got fucking lost in the fucking river because the rivers are so confusing. You get in there and you think you've been around this turn, but you haven't. You think you've been over here, but you haven't. It's like everything's split. It's like there's been a split and you've gone one way, you've gone the other, and there's two places, a reapy do a a ripped in two halves, and you've been fucking... And... Ah! The roads and the roads, the roads are confusing. There's this fucking thing I figured out. This fucking thing I figured out. So I was just like driving around. I thought I was going to a second Numanus. I thought there was two fucking Numanuses. There's no fucking way this one fucking night that I was in Numanus. I was a completely different fucking place, but it just looked like Numanus. And fucking Numanus is where the fuck is it? It's right over here, fucking Numanus. And I'm over here, whatever. And so fucking... And so I'm thinking about the road. There's no fucking way that you can do this where you could have a road and you could drive on it and you think you're going one way but you go the other way but you're always on the same road and you always go one way but then sometimes it could switch you over to another fucking way. And then I figured out how to fucking do it. And it's completely fucking possible. And there's a hundred different fucking ways to do it. And it's so fucking simple. And of course you fucking do that to fucking do sh and this, the shit that is, that's here is crazy. This fucking shit about Amethyst. Man.
What everyone's calling Amethyst, I don't think it's Amethyst. It doesn't make sense that it would be Amethyst in a completely different thing, completely fucking amazing. It's purple quartz. It's just quartz that has some fucking purple shit in it. I find quartz in all different fucking colors. I find with yellow color, with orange color, with blue color, with green color. I have amethyst. Actual fucking amethyst. It's red. Amethyst. It, 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 amber. It's red. It's not purple. Why would am? Why would you call a purple rock red? Why would you call a purple rock red? That doesn't make any sense. It's fucking red. And, and when I was a kid... We fucking had some. And we had it in like a picture frame. And there was two different picture frames. Like two different pieces of it. And it was just this red fucking crystal. That was flat. And like this big around, and just, like this, just big pieces. And then, lo and behold, I find someone. I got a couple of it right here. And I like my camera. I can't fucking show you that. You gotta come over to my fucking beach. There's amethyst. There's this fucking all this fucking mystery and shit about amethyst cove. This fucking bullshit about amethyst cove, right here. I've fucking been there before absolute bullshit, most bullshit fucking hike I've ever taken in my fucking life. This fucking Amethyst Cove horse shit. There's a story, oh, Amethyst Cove, you know, it's the best fucking thing in the world. And my fucking mommy, <laughs> she was shit oh, God. Who has her fucking story about Amethyst Cove, about how her grandmother would always go and just get these big, huge pieces of Amethyst. Oh, and she wouldn't even go down to Amethyst Cove. She would just go to the top of the mountain she found where the where the amethyst was, and she would bring back these big pieces of it, that one piece after another, all the time, and, 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 but she was smart, she wouldn't just lug out a big piece, you take a big piece as far as you can, and you drop it off, and then you go to the next piece you got that's a bit smaller, and you lug that, and then, before you know it, you got all the amethyst you could ever want, and, but then, of course, people stole him, people sold it, and she passed away, and all this, that, and the other, and there's this big fucking story about Amethyst Cove, it's the most amazing place ever, this amethyst, you find it all over the beach here, yeah, I found it, I found it over here on my beach, I found it over here in these fucking beaches, it's purple fucking quartz. And so, there's, all of a sudden, there's fucking Amethyst Cove is on the fucking map. And well, how do you get to Amethyst Cove, you don't even want to know. But it's hilarious, you come here to fucking Cape Split, and there's this other fucking trail, and... <laughs> there's this other trail... There's Amethyst Cove Trail, and you go up this trail, and you, you go up, and you take a left, and you take a right, and you follow the fucking instructions. <laughs> and look, look where it brings you. It brings you down over to here. You go up and over to this mountain, and you, cl you, you, you climb down the mountain, you hike. You, <laughs> you, you, you just don't go down the cliff over here. But <laughs> Someone found a fucking path. They found, look at they're trying to find a fucking... How do we get to Amethyst Cove? Where's this Amethyst Cove? And they, they fucking found a way down. They found a way down over here. You come here. You come. You walk all the way over here. You come over. And then you fucking you go down to And this, 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 this here is so crazy. It's just so crazy. You don't even want to know how you get down. But anyways, you get down. And then you, you gotta walk all... You gotta walk all this way. You walk all this fucking way across all these fucking beaches. Just endless, endless, endless. And they, and it's not just all, you know, white sand beach. There's ones where there's boulders. And you're literally, like, jumping from boulder to boulder. That's how you're getting across this beach. It's your fucking boulder hopping. And it's just... <laughs> the water. The water. The... It's so rough. And I guess that's the idea. It just keeps chipping away this hard, hard, hard cliff. And then, and, then, and then all the amethyst spills out on the beach. And you get to Amethyst Cove. You get to Amethyst Cove. Oh, my God. It's just this waterfall. It's just this waterfall. And there's barely any fucking amethyst. And I guess you there's a little bit more purple quartz there than other fucking places or something. And they decided that's Amethyst Cove. This is just this shit here. I can tell because I know the rocks from around here. It's not. It's 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 it's, it's 
it's not these. It's not here. It's not this. It's somewhere else. It's maybe over here. It's maybe this is from somewhere else. There's caves. There's shit everywhere. There's tons of places to stash shit. You can stash shit everywhere. There's, there's. You you get out here to the end. You get out here to the end, and you gotta walk past this thing. It's so fucking scary. Right fucking here. Where is it? Yeah, right here. This this split. This <laughs> this split that you can see on the trail. <laughs> right here. <laughs> You, you stand here, and they got a little trailer. Walked right up to it. And you just look down. It's just this. It's just, it's just split right up there. It's gonna get you. It's just, the land here is fucked. Like, <laughs> oh, but this rock is just crazy. And, and there's there's a red one, and there's a blue one. That's what's so cool. It's not just it's like with everything. It's always there's always two. It's, there's a red and a blue amethyst or something. And people have been hoodwinked, and people because the people are just so fucked, and they can't get enough, and they won't, they don't stop, and then they'll, they'll either go destroy it all or take it all, and then and then it's gone. But then maybe I know a way, and I and there's this dream I had, this dream I had that has been driving me absolutely crazy, and but it's not just this dream; it's it's other dreams, and it's. They're not dreams, they're memories, but I, I know how long I've been alive for, I remember, like, <laughs> the rec I keep, I've been told how, my whole life how long I've been alive for, and, and so maybe that's all it is, but, oh man, God, these, the mall was different, the mall in New Marnus was completely different, now these memories are going there. And it was different, and, and, and it was right there. We we'll go over here, fucking New Minus. And this was New Minus is a new town. It wasn't called fucking New Minus. It's just fucking Kentville. Or maybe it was Horton. Because Horton was over here. But anyways, we're in New Minus. In the mall. And so apparently this is the fucking McDonald's, but this is the fucking McDonald's. If it wasn't McDonald's, there's was a Burger King, but you got a burger. It was a drive through but you could also go inside. But now it's a drive through bank. Or then it switched to something else. But this dream I have, I'm parked in the parking lot down here. And I come out, and I, and I go in here, and I get something to eat. And then there's a gas or something here. And but here is the strip mall. And and I go up into the strip mall. And some dreams is like I'm going into the strip mall. This is the mall. The new mall, the strip mall, and it's got a theater in it. My dream is going to the theater. Going to this strip mall, going to the theater. And, and, and this, this, this building wasn't connected to here. This, 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 there, was, there was stuff here. There's Tim, this is where Tim Hortons was. Tim Hortons, it was this... It was a... It was... It was double-sided. It was just a small little... And it's still here, the smoke shop. Like right now, the way that this is, is there's this, there's a smoke shop, and then there's the entryway to Sobeys where your carts are. And you go through the doors, you're in the entryway, and your carts and stuff are here. But there's a door that connects it in, and the way I've had this dream, and how it worked is it was a two-sided fucking thing. This this building wasn't here; it was just this little strip mall, a little strip here, and a strip going down here to the theater. And then the old mall is over here, and it's a whole other, whole other thing, and Center Square is actually here, it's not in Kenful, and there's so much here, there's so fucking much shit that people just can't see with their own fucking eyes. Oh, and it's Roman concrete, and there's all this fucking shit, and the, anyways, this fucking Tim Hortons was a fucking, it wasn't a walkthrough, it was a walk around. You go on one side and you can get coffee. And you go on the other side and you can get donuts or whatever. 
but you couldn't get coffee. You went on this side, you could not get coffee, you could only get donuts. You go on this side, you couldn't get donuts, you could only get coffee. And they give you fucking shit about it. And there's a little fucking alley here, and you would just go, and they, that, that was fucking Tim Hortons. And you couldn't eat inside, but you could if they let you in. And they would check you out, and if they wanted you in there, you walked through the fucking thing, and then you went over into the fucking thing. From my memory, I just wasn't the type of person to be allowed in. I was too fucking whatever, too retarded or whatever, and I wasn't allowed in. And but I could go to the other side, and there's all these issues. And I tried to get go reach across, and I get a fucking burger there. They're right there. So no, you gotta come around the other side, even though there's no one in the fucking line. And it's this whole thing. It was this whole thing. And you came in here to the strip mall, but then they had like Cineplex or something. Or Cinemax, or whatever, and this here, the fucking so the, the not the Sobies, where they, where everyone here would know it as the Sears. Where that is in the fucking mall, that was the theater. When and you go into the, it's not a fucking retail, it's a theater. You go into that fucking, they have it emptied out, because Sears is gone. And Sears used to be, there used to be on the, in the front fucking thing here. Used to be the actual Sears. Sears used to be Amazon. And so you would just go to the Sears catalog and they picked, they dropped off and they picked up. And there's a thing in the fucking front here. And this wasn't Sears. This was the fucking theater. And when you go in, there's a fucking place where you order your fucking tickets and your fucking popcorn. And, and it's, it's, and it's on the way in. You go in, you fucking head to the fucking where the Sears was. And you fucking, you come in and, 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 and it's got the theater colors. The black and the red and the, and the it's the theater it's where you got the tickets and then you went in and then there's a food court here and there's a whole fucking thing this fucking place and i got these stupid fucking memories of it it doesn't make any sense or maybe i'm hallucinating or maybe i'm crazy and you just look at the fucking mall from the other fucking side and this and these pieces and this and that and nothing makes fucking sense and, but it does when you start looking at it Oh my god. That's just new minus. We started in Wolfville, the fucking buildings and shit. Oh man, oh man. Anyways, Wolfville would have been the fucking city. The history of this place is all fucked. But I had this other fucking dream. This other dream, and I was in a helicopter. And I went around Belomidin. And I went into a fucking cave. And the cave had a top, had, high, had the fucking waves in it. But we were inside. But it was the lobby. But there was fucking brickwork. And it looked Egyptian, but it wasn't. But it was just because it was brickwork. And it was just really nice. And the steps and fucking shit and went up and there's a fucking hallway. I've been there a couple fucking times. One time it was fucking dark, dingy, scary. Another time it was all fucking lit up and cool. This was in the fucking daytime. And, ah, uh, in this helicopter, went around and the only way to get there, is, you, you can't, there's a hidden valley in here. There's a hidden valley. Everything on, there's everything on the map is on the map. It's just not where it is. There's a hidden valley, it's marked, but it's over here, that's not where it is, it's over here, it's in, you can, there's so many shit like that, when it's like, that's not where that is, that's over here, and they're trying to send you somewhere else, they, you put, type in Lime Cove, it tells you it's way the fuck down here, it's not way the fuck down here, I've been to Lime Cove, it's way the fuck up here, and it's fucking crazy, and everything is like that, and all this secret shit on the fucking beaches, it's just, this one, it, it, it had to be where the king lived. It sounds so fucking self-serving and just fucking fill up my head with whatever fucking shit. And this, and this was the whale, and you don't even know. It doesn't make sense, and you see it, and it does. And it just seems like you're fucking high and crazy because you are, because you fucking have to be. And ah, oh, there's something fucking happened here. Something, something's going on. And here you can see. Oh my, 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 my. You can see the fucking tide and it shifts and you got these cool waves. You can see the cool waves. You see cool wave, wave fucking patterns here. This fucking, this fucking place here. This got the, the, this thing. I fucking figured out what's going on. This, be, this has been modified. These rivers. These rivers have been modified. Right? We got to put the trenches for the horses and there's, 
There's this here is a sediment collection system. This thing is just fucking crazy. It collects the fucking sediment. And and then you fish it out, and here is a fucking sediment deposit. And you get down there, you see it. I've been fucking hiking here for years and years and years and years and years. The fucking official story is that there's a dike coming out, and this is where the Acadian dikes, and they grew fucking grass for their fucking bullshit. But it's not. It's not. It doesn't make sense that it would be that you would make this much fucking hay for your fucking horses when the actual fucking dikes that they fucking used are here. It's all of this land. It's all of this. It's all this land. It's all get out of here. It's all this is dyke shit. All this is dyke. All this is dyke. You wouldn't be over here diking off a fucking barely bale of fucking hay. And like, there's other shit going. And, and and what it is is just fucking crazy. You got this one here, and it's a sediment collection, and it slows the flow of the river down. They built all this fucking shit here. Because this river would have just came down and would have just spread out all over here and would have just been a big fucking mess on the beach and the water would have soaked in here in the high tide and would have stored up and sloshed out and it just would have been hell, this fucking beach. But they fixed this beach. It's just unbelievable. They have this all done up here and that's not it. You come down here to the next fucking one. And they did the same fucking thing. This beach here is completely... Man-made. This whole fucking thing. And all this shit here is all man-made. You look at it for five seconds, you can tell. The whole fucking thing. Same fucking thing. They're slowing down the river. They're managing the water. This fills up, and then the tide comes in, and it floods out all slowly and everything. But that's not it. You come down here. You get the fucking wharf. And there's another one. In here. Same fucking thing. They modified the beach. It all slowed down. They didn't have to do it as much. Then you come in here. And they got a big, huge dike across. And used to, the water used to come through here. And... The water all these fucking fields. But there's just not enough fields to lay the land. doesn't seem right. It isn't to water the fields. It's to fucking hold the water back. Because the water is fucked. And what happens? What happens? It's unbelievable. The way they have this balanced is that the... When the fucking... When it's storming and you got lots of rain and shit, the waves get really big. They only get so big because of the depth and because of the the angle of how fast the depth increases. But they still get to a point where they're fucking big and they can cause destruction and erosion on the, the King's Beach. You don't even want to know. So, they got this. So the river comes down and it goes this way. And it, and and the and it sends the water. So instead of the the tide, because the tide goes in and out this way. Instead of it coming in and slamming against the fucking bank, the river pushes it out because it's going sideways. And you can see it when it rains. You got water. You got a, a current flowing sideways. And then you got the current flowing in, and you got it bouncing off, and you got all the other fucking currents that are going on. But you got this one going sideways. And look over here. Watch this beach. It's just years and years and years and years of sediment built up into this steep but stable beach. Not only that, oh, there's a video on my TikTok from over here where I'm like, spiders, spiders. Because there's, second, there's a second beach. You go hiking over here and, and there's a second beach. 
That's behind this beach. It's an older beach. But it's not that old. This one is not that old. <laughs> nothing makes sense. Not the story, nothing. Ha ah! This is just fucked here. This whole fucking place. Okay, how long have I been going here? An hour. There's one more fucking thing I'm going to show you on this fucking map, and then that's it. I'm making all this noise about this bottle. signs about how all this shit works and how I got this special one that's, that uh, can do this loud sound that sound that shows up on you and probably it's showing up on you. Morse code shit, you can do Morse code on it but anyways, there's so much with this bottle but the bottle isn't the half of it, just Okay, maybe I'm crazy, maybe the map's wrong, maybe whatever. But look at this. If anyone knows how an amplifier works. Amplifier is just a V. It's your basic amplifier. Stuff goes in amplifier and it comes back out of it it's a bell whatever you see and all it's all over the it's just this basic fucking physics thing and it's a bell and then and that's an amplifier and then but the thing with that amplifier is that it, go, it works both ways it it amplifies out this way in one type of way but then also amplifies stuff going in so it can be dangerous if you in certain settings, in certain circumstances, you don't want it amplifying in. It amplifies way too much. So, you put, you put a little crotch in the amplifier so it looks like an A. Like a little thing. Anyway, it looks like the Templar fucking thing where they got the the, the G and they got the the um, the compass and everything. And, the, and and this is a safe amplifier, and it amplifies only in one way, and it doesn't amplify as much as the other way. But whatever. So, so you certainly look for amplifiers, and then look where I am with my fucking bottle, and I can just honk and honk away. I'm on this beach here. Okay, so I make my honk with my bottle, and look what happens. The sound wave, oh, it goes, it bounces off. It really, it's it's going over here, right? Or really, it's kind of coming across here. And this, when you look back in here, well, this is an amplifier. So the sound going back in here is going to bounce in, boom, 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 boom. And, and this type here is not going to uh, go too far in here because it's bent, but it's going to come back out this way. Boom. So we've got an amplifier. Not only that, it's kind of like a bottle, right? I'm blowing, it's like I'm blowing across the bottle. And then the sound comes out this way. Okay. So here we go, it, it opens up. And where does it go? Well, it kind of goes across here, right? Boom. Across. 
across here, and then it comes, and so we're blowing across another bottle, and it's going to resonate inside the bottle, right? And so we come down into here. Oh, boom, boom. Look at all these amplifiers. Double one in here, boom, boom, boom. All these amplifiers coming out as I'm blowing across the bottle here, being amplified from over here. And now this amplifies out. Zoom out a bit. So now we're blowing across this bottle. Making a noise going across this way. And would you look at that? What do we have? It's another bottle. And it's an amplifier. Boom! It's back in, and it's not even very crooked, this one. <laughs> so it, it's, it's going right in here as well as coming out of here. A little crook here, whatever. Oh, it shapes the sound, whatever. And then look. This comes out of here, and this comes here. And they add up together. And this is a whole, a whole sound thing that isn't even, it's known about. Because I see other people using it and, and shit, but it's not public. About the certain way that you can make a standing wave just by having a wave going one way. And you have a wave going the other way. And then X marks the spot, wherever they cross, you get double the wave height. And so you get standing wave and it's another type of amplifier. And... Um, I, I I intuit this in, in some of my in my music theory when I'm writing music. But you can deliberately do it in the way that you write music. There's um, I forget there's like a Schrader tone or something that kind of sounds like the THX, and you can't tell which direction because the sound is going like in an X shape. And this is a whole thing, and it, it's it, you amplify. It's how you do emotion amplification, which is another whole thing that I've been trying to figure out because I've heard it elsewhere but no one shares but I've figured out every little thing how to do and how to do it better than everybody else but that's a thing for another day so we're here and so we've, we've got the sound going this way and sound going this way they act they cross over they add together and now they get squeezed down through here another amplifier and look here it's a horn crooks out, which means it's not amplifying this way, it's amplifying this way. And it comes out of here. Boom. And it comes this way. Boom, 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 boom. And it goes across here. What do we have back in here? Well, look, it's another amplifier. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And you can hear this when you blow this bottle. You would not believe it. <laughs> Anyways. And then it comes out and it X marks the spot. It adds up again. Boom, boom, boom. And it comes out here. We get filtered off. We a little filter here. Filter off some frequencies this way. Oh, but look at this. It's coming in. We got another amplifier. And boom. Marks the spot. That's how amplifiers work, right? It just you send them one way and the other way, and they X marks the spot in the middle. Oh, now we got it all coming over here. We're done, right? No, 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 no. It comes over to here. Boom, boom. It just keeps going and going. So, can I broadcast music to the whole world? I must be able to. Or that's just why we have the highest tides in the world. Because you play it in, in reverse, it's the same thing with the water, and so it amplifies, and whatever. But, if you live here, in this area, there's just one time a day you don't talk about. There's one time a day you don't want to be around. There's one time a day that... 7 a.m. You do not want to be here at 7 a.m. Especially in the winter time. 
because what will happen is everywhere in here, every single one of these amplifiers gets ice on them. And when ice forms, It uh, forms into a big, huge crystal, one big, huge piece. And then it warms up when the sun hits it at around 7 a.m. And then, boom, it cracks everywhere in every single one at the same time boom you can't sleep you get woken up out of bed 7 a.m but it's not all the time because the ice doesn't form all the time but it's just enough of the time that you're annoyed at being awoken at 7 a.m you know i'm not getting up at 7 a.m for work 7 a.m no 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 or you're just you just you're just up at, you're just you're an early bird 7 a.m it's just 7 a.m out here because it's not the only thing that can make sound. It's a, everything's eroding constantly, and so a piece of the bank falls. Boom! It wakes everybody up. And when does the bank fall? <laughs> well, I'm hiking out that all the time, trying to figure out what's the best time to be on the beach, and it's not in the morning. It's not at seven a.m. because. <laughs> The bank is, at night it gets all cold. And especially like in the spring or the winter, it freezes. And then in the night time is the coldest time. And everything gets cold and constricted. And then, and then, and then the sun comes on, warms it up and pieces fall and break off. Boom. And you get these big sounds. You wake up, you don't know what it is. You can't trace it back. It's crazy. And, uh, there's a story here, someone over here, they, um, uh, accidentally threw a piano over the bank. Story my brother found in the archives. They threw a piano over the bank. That's... So, it'd be nice if I could get some modicum of interaction online at all. At just a tiny, 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 tiny little bit. Just so I can see if I'm crazy or not. That's all I've been at for years and years. Just a tiny little bit of fucking interaction. But I literally cannot get interaction from anybody. It's, this place is crazy. I need people's help. It's fucking nuts out here. You wouldn't believe it! Am I crazy? Or am I actually broadcasting sounds throughout the whole fucking world? I need someone somewhere else where I can be like, Hey, can you hear this? Bah, bah, bah. And I got fuck, I fucking found a spot. I got it all marked out where it seems like this is where you put the fucking speaker. And that's going to be the best fucking thing. And but... I, my computer doesn't work. The internet doesn't work. My phone doesn't work. Can't get a hold of anybody. Can't hang out with my friends. Can't hang out with my family. Can't do this. Can't do that. Can't know what any, what anyone's up to. I fucking... I'm here screaming at people on the beach with their fucking dogs on the leash. I got this bottle. I'm chasing them around. And... Woo, woo, this fucking thing is so harsh. The dogs can hear it kilometers away. Kilometers away. And they're... On the fucking beach. And word still has not gotten out to avoid this fucking place. There's still people coming down here thinking they own the fucking beach. And they think they can camp there. There's someone camping there tonight. There's someone camping down there tonight. And I just fucking wanted to fucking relax and not fucking go harass people again. Ever since I've posted my fucking video on TikTok about please come here to my beach... Every single day, except for two or three, 
there's someone down there with their dogs off the leash, bringing them over here. And I fucking fight them. I go fight them. There's people trying to camp, and I go fucking fight them. And word, still, today, has not gotten out that there's something going on at the fucking Houston's beach. To avoid that, don't go down there. You're gonna... No one's phones work. No one can talk to each other. I got the most amazing discoveries, scientific discoveries, physical discoveries of this fucking place and what it was, how it works. I still cannot get any attention online. No one interacts with me. What is going on? This shit is so fucking amazing. And everyone's just too scared. That's not my feel. I don't do this. Somebody please grow some fucking balls. Please. You fucking pussies. Honestly, every single fucking one of you online. Please, somebody. This place is crazy. I'm crazy. I have all this shit and still I cannot get any interaction online. What is going on? Please. It's so crazy, everything, I've been working on everything I have. It, am I not ready yet? Are you guys not, like, what is going on and no one else is ready? Like, it's just so fucked. Post a video, I can't eat, I can't eat, I can't eat. No one cares. I put it on my Facebook, none of my friends saw it. They would have tried to fucking help me, right? They're my fucking friends. That's what they do. I've, I've literally... My fucking bank account. I guess I'm not done with this fucking video yet. They just keep fucking me over. At this fucking community service, this is the only way I can get money for some reason. I can't get any interaction online, can't get any interaction in the business community. Start a business. You want to, <laughs> this fucking Tesla bullshit I'm trying to say. We can take the, te you can drive them in the water here. It's going to, it would be so cool. There's so many businesses you can do if you just listen to me for five seconds, but no one wants to. <sighs> what the fuck was I saying? It's something important. God damn it. One more fucking thing. Oh, man. Of course, I can't pause this and make another video and join it together. Oh. Can't interact with anyone online. Can't get any interaction on anything. Right, I'm out of food and money. These community services people, the only way, I can't do this, can't do that. I can't get it, hold anybody online, make friends with them and trade with them. I can't, I can't go to the local business people in the community, say, hey, I have this business idea, can we do this, get any money from them? No, no, no. The only place I'm allowed to get money is community services. And it's a fucking program, this income assistance program. And okay, so I'm on this income assistance program. And they start giving me money, but of course it's not enough. It's just welfare, whatever you, you call it, other places. And, and so I get this money. All oh, oh, man. That fucking place. Every time I go in there, I see someone crying when they're leaving or they're pissed off. And it's just horrible. It's just horrible, this place. And it's just supposed to help people. It'll give you a little bit of money to get you by until you find something, find some help. And it'll, it'll get on into another job or whatever. Because you can couldn't get on employment insurance, because I quit my job. Because, anyways, so I'm on this shit, and and then it turns out the whole time, this whole time, years and years and years and years, I've been on this program. It's the only thing, only way I can get money. No one wants to do business. No one wants to do anything. The only way I can get money it turns out this whole time for years and years. Since when did I get on it? 2017 or something? And... Or 2018, something like that? And... There's this housing program. 
there's two different programs. Here, they're in two different buildings. So you don't you go into one building, you don't know about the other. When I was living in, in Kingston, they were in the same building. So I was like, what? There's, there's this other thing, this housing program. And the house, they, they have a rent supplement, and they give you money for your rent. They never told me. I'm paying my rent out of this, like, thousand, not even a thousand dollars, nine hundred something dollars they give you. I'm paying my rent, trying to pay my phone, trying to pay everything out of it. Not, not enough money. I keep telling them, I don't have enough money. Here's how much you're giving me. I don't have enough for this, don't have enough for that. Can you give me any more money? No, no, no. We can help you this way, help you that way. We can give you an extra ninety dollars if you agree to go to this employment services program. You go to this employment program, and they'll give you an extra ninety dollars so you can drive around, send out your resume, and... And they'll have someone here try to work with you and spruce up your resume and we'll get you all. Okay, cool, we'll go on that. That doesn't fucking work. And anyways, eventually I get on this housing program and I'm getting the money. But they, they know me because I, they just do everything they can to piss me off. And, and they know what pisses me off. And, and the thing that pisses me off is the yearly review. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You gotta go into this yearly review every fucking year to say that you still, not only that, you, there's a stupid piece of paper you have to fill out, and you have to put none on t t two dozen different lines. You have to write the word N-O-N-E, or else you will not get money. You do not get assistance unless you fill out this piece of paper, you write your name and address, which they already have on file, you have to write it again, you have to write your phone number out again, and you have to fill out this piece of paper and write none, 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 two dozen times. In order to get your money, you have to do this every single fucking month. Unless they like you. There's an option on the computer, they press this button, and they'll just keep sending you your money. Oh, and sending the money, they don't know how to send people money. It's, it's, they don't know how to send people money. They're the only place that they're not allowed to send you money. You have an issue and you need money today, you cannot go in there and get it. The best they can do is they'll give you a voucher and you can go across town and say to whatever fucking business, be like, yeah, I got this fucking voucher from community services because I'm fucking a sad, sad piece of shit and you should give me as much trouble next time I'm in here. And you, you can, so you can buy me a fucking pair of boots or some fucking bullshit. But okay, sometimes they do give you extra money or whatever, and but they're just fucking assholes in there. Anyways, but the, they, they won't even give it to you. So how do you get money? Whoever's watching this, how do you personally receive your money? How do you make it so someone can give you money, right? We have this thing called a wire transfer, right? Like pretty much every fucking where this wire transfer bullshit. You, you have the three different numbers, the institution number, the transit number, the account number. And you give it, and you can either, like, have a, a check, you write void on it, those three numbers are on there, you give it to the person who you want to pay you, and then they, they put those numbers into their bank, and then they can pay you, right? That's across the fucking board. That's how you get paid, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. And you get a wire transfer. You don't have to sign and agree to anything. The only thing you agree to is that this is my bank account, and this is where you're sending the fucking money to. Except for community services. You're not allowed to receive money from them unless you sign a pre-authorized payment form. And I've argued with them endlessly about this every time they try to give me one. And I'm super fucking polite and I try to understand what they're trying to say. And it doesn't make sense. Why do you need a pre-authorized payment form? You don't need to withdraw money from my account to pay me. End of story. But you go into there, anywhere in Nova Scotia, you go into the community services, you ask them about getting money without, and they, they, they'll they just love to tell you how fucking hard it is. You'll have to get it by check, and it's going to take forever. And they'll, want, they'll, they'll get you all wound up in this big story. you gotta you got to sign this pre-authorized payment. That's how you pay bills. That's the form you sign when you're paying a bill. And you want the bill to just come out of your account automatically. Why did they... You cannot get direct deposit without it. So I have to get all my... Because I'm not fucking retarded. I'm not going to let them withdraw money out of my account. They're evil. So I don't sign it. I give them trouble. 
But don't worry, they're in bed with Canada Post. That's the only way to get mail. And Canada Post has had history in the past of not delivering checks. And they have fucking history in the past to where one of their fucking postal workers got pelted with fucking crab apples, as they fucking should have, because they were fucking people around with their fucking money. And then they couldn't fucking stand it, and they took some fucking poor innocent fucking teenager to jail and just tortured her until she fucking killed herself. But not just because she fucking killed herself, but because they, they killed her. But she did all the work. Just fucking disgusting. And they can still fuck you around. Everyone else, if you get in line and you sign the fucking form and you, you get your money on the 27th every fucking time, you don't sign the form... Well, your check sometimes arrives on the 27th, sometimes it's the 28th, sometimes it's the 29th, sometimes it's the 30th, and if it's got 31 days in the month, you goddamn bet you're getting it on the fucking first, like I did this month. Oh, because the National Day for Truth and Monday, they don't deliver the fucking mail, and this and that, and this and that, every fucking month. And okay, they have this other fucking program that I was supposed to be on since 2017 that I did not know about, that I did not apply for, but okay. I finally get on this fucking program. Finally getting enough money. Finally I can buy some fucking little electronics, do all these little experiments I've been wanting to do. Still haven't gotten caught up on any fucking shopping I've been wanting to do for the past fucking decade. But at least I can do some fucking experiments, maybe get some scientific discovery, and maybe get some someone to pay attention to me and give me just a little fucking money so I can fucking eat! But no! Because then the fucking... They, they're, they're scamming me the whole fucking time! Because now... Oh, the yearly review. Quentin just hates that yearly fucking review. He avoids it at all fucking costs, as he knows. We send out the letter, and you don't have to go the first fucking time we say the yearly review, and we'll be lenient, and we'll push it back, and this and that, and he does it every time, and he fucks with us, and he goes, you're so fucking annoying, and you won't give me anything I asked for. I asked for so fucking politely, and I hear your side and try to, but they just won't. Anyways... They do this yearly fucking review, and of course I fucking skip. But they, but this letter this time, oh yeah, you 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 skip this one. There's no second chances. You're done. You're kicked off the program completely until you do your yearly review. And this was the yearly view with community services. The community services and the housing people are completely different. Completely different buildings. Completely different forms. Completely different everything. But I didn't do my yearly review with community services and those housing motherfuckers. They couldn't wait. They just cut me off immediately. So I haven't been getting the money since then. I've only been getting the fucking stuff for community services. Oh, but that's fine. They got this GST payment that the federal government gives you. Every fucking quarter, they fucking figure out how much they've been taxing people too much, and they fucking give out some money to the poor, to the poor people. An extra 100 bucks, 100, 200 bucks, depending on who you are, depending on what you got. And so, yeah, that's, that's great every fucking four months, except it's not four months because they fucking stop it in fucking near Christmas. You know, Chris, it's like uh, every, every like, three months, three months, and then fucking get near Christmas. You're, oh, no, no fucking money. No more fucking money for anyone near Christmas. You gotta fucking fight for your fucking Christmas. Fucking bullshit motherfuckers. Anyways, so they cut me off of this fuck. They cut me off of their fucking housing shit. And, I cut, and, and the fucking taxes. Well, in order to do the taxes, you gotta, you gotta fucking have your net file. And your net file is through the... The government of Canada got this really nice website for doing all the fucking bullshit you gotta do with the government of Canada. And then you gotta get your net file code and you put that into the fucking thing that some fucking motherfuckers made that they can't just absorb into the fucking government website and just make it all one fucking thing. But anyways, so you gotta go over to this other website and do the taxes, which is bullshit because I didn't make any fucking money, so I don't owe anything. And, and so I just go in and take my fucking form they gave me, type in the number. It's like, ha ha ha, you don't owe anything, but you had this fucking thing with the student loan when you're paying it back and there was like 12K or some bullshit, but that's, that's gone. And ha ha ha, because you waited too long and you don't understand taxes. But anyways, 
So fucking, and and then, so, okay, but do my fucking taxes. Okay, you need your net file code. Oh, right, the fucking Government of Canada website is fucked. You get locked out of there, you're done. You can't do anything with the government ever again. You try your password, because you know they have the stupidest fucking rules on their fucking website made from 2003, and you gotta fucking do it all, and... And, and, and you get locked out. You know, was it, was it this variation, this password, this variation, this password, didn't write it down, you don't write down your password, that's insecure. And so you can't get into your fucking government of Canada thing, get your net file code, and so I can't file my fucking taxes. So now I'm owed all this GST fucking money all fucking year. I haven't been able to get it because I haven't been able to fucking file my taxes. Because in order to do that, you have to call them up on the fucking phone. You call them up on the fucking phone, and you go through, you know how it is. You call someone up on the fucking phone. You can't actually do anything. You're just there for hours and hours going on and on and on and on and on until they fucking finally figure out who you are and they finally give you as much trouble as they fucking could and they finally got their kicks for the fucking day and then they'll, they'll maybe agree to send out a fucking thing in the mail and then hopefully fucking Canada Post will fucking deliver it to you and they just, they just hate fucking delivering the mail because they get fucking pelted with fucking apples because they're fucking retarded. But anyways, you wait till this fucking slip comes and then you type in your number and you got your account back and everything's fucking fine. But I'm not doing that fucking bullshit. I'm not dumb. It's fucking bullshit. Why can't I just make money? I should just be able to make money somehow. But I literally can't. I apply to every single fucking place that does programming work. And they won't, they won't hire me. I apply for every fucking thing here. Okay, I'll be an entrepreneur. Go in and they, they just give you the runaround. And then, and then they go make the fucking shit that, that I tell them. And then I don't get any fucking money from it. I go and okay, this is a cool restaurant idea. Like, these, you, you can't order shit from a fucking restaurant. It's fucking annoying. And you go to McDonald's, you can't order shit. You go to here, you can't order shit. You go to eat in, you can't order. You, can't, you should be able to do it on your fucking phone. Well, I'm a fucking Jesus. I figured it out. I just figured it out. That's what I do. So I go in and try to sell them that, like, oh, no, 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 no. But, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll write up a business plan for you if you, you pay us by the hour to write the business plan. I'm not going to tell you how long it's going to take, but, oh, boy, it's like 50 bucks or 100 bucks an hour just to, and so I don't, I can't, you don't want my help. And so then I go and I see, oh, fuck, there's the fucking thing. The people doing the restaurant menu thing, they didn't do the crazy cool fucking thing I did. They just took the business idea, tried to run with it and make some fucking money off it and see, I see, okay, this is fucking motherfuckers I was talking to that made it. And there's other shit, too. They come back, oh, yeah, this mention's actually this. And suddenly it's on the fucking market. It wasn't a, there was nothing like that on the fucking market before. That's why I invented it. That's what I do. And it's like my own fucking local people at Acadia University. It's such bullshit. I can't go with 10 lectures there. I can't fucking afford tuition. How in the fuck would I even hire, go to be a fucking professor? They, oh, look at, look, you can't hire me as a professor. I'm fucking nuts. <laughs> I can't get, I, where the, it's so stupid. It's just like illegal for me to have any money and just get stuff done. <laughs> like I don't have, I gotta, I gotta wash, like, I spend more time and money washing clothes than I do buying new ones. I gotta wash them every three days. But I don't have enough. And I can't afford to go get more, and so I'm just spending all this money on soap. You know, and then I'm running out of money. Because I'm spending all on soap and washing my clothes every three fucking days. I just can't get a fucking break anywhere. Anywhere, and then, then everyone's telling me, you just need to ask for help. You need to ask for help. Go into the psychologist, go into the whatever, and ask for help. And I, I've been in there years ago. They see me. This guy's fucked. You can't help him. He's, he, you just figure it out on your, on your own. <laughs> and I didn't figure it out. I just need someone to help me. I just need anyone at all. Just, just <laughs> call me out online. Send me a little fucking money. Anything at all, please. Please. And I still can. I still haven't made the right fucking video. Still haven't done the right this. Still haven't done the right that. Well, fuck everyone. You're all fucked.